Hi, I'm Annie, one of the pharmacists at the Apothecary in Sartell, Minnesota. When prescribed bioidentical hormones, you may be prescribed it in trochee form. So today I will show you how to use a trochee. If you're not familiar with the trochee, it will come in a tray of 30 that looks like this. So once you open your tray of trochees, you want to think of it as kind of an ice cube tray where you need to kind of flex it and bend it a little bit to kind of break up the waxy lozenge. So once you've done that, they're a little bit loose. And then you can simply pop the trochee out of the tray. And you may have to kind of grab it with your fingernail. And when you pop that out, this is considered one trochee. Oftentimes your dosing may be just a quarter or a half trochee because that's a nice size to be able to put in the buccal cavity. So you'll notice, and it's hard to see on the camera, but in on the back of the trochee, it is scored. So you're able to use simply a small paring knife or even your fingers and to divide the trochee into quarters or halves as needed. So once you cut off the amount of trochee that you need, I'm using a quarter of a trochee, you'll simply use your fingers to flatten that trochee out. The purpose is so that it covers the most surface area once put in the mouth. So now I've flattened it out so it has more surface area. And then you will want to place that piece of trochee between your cheek and upper gum in what we call the buccal cavity. It can be on either side and once you place it in that buccal cavity you'll want to just place it there and hold it there. You don't want to be moving it around in the mouth. The purpose is for the medications to be absorbed through that buccal tissue for best absorption and best effect. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes for that trochee to fully be absorbed and you'll notice that it will feel like it's dissipated. And then at that point, you can go about your normal day with your normal eating or drinking and brushing your teeth, whatever you have next to do. We do suggest uh, alternating the sides of the mouth that you're using for the trochee every couple of days, uh, just to, so that you don't desensitize the tissue on one side. So just switching it up every couple of days is a good idea. The trochees are usually flavored with a slight flavoring and sweetener uh, as stevia so that it disguises any bitterness of the medications that may be in the trochee. Um, if that flavoring still bothers you or you find it um, making you a little bit nauseous, you can also put a cough drop or a lozenge of your choice into your mouth while the trochee is in the mouth to disguise that flavor. You just again want to make sure that you aren't moving that trochee around in the mouth and that it's just sitting in that cavity. We do. Now the tray of trochees um, contains 30 trochees and they are quite heat labile so you want to make sure that you store the trochees at room temperature or even in the refrigerator if needed. You just want to make sure you're not keeping them in a warm car uh, on a warm day where they may become soft and gooey and melt. Please don't hesitate to call if you ever have any questions here at the apothecary.